Okay, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have our first Revenant weapon review and we are going to be checking out the Exuvia. I don't know how you say it, but this thing. Uh, this is the brand new Onslaught 120. I was playing a bunch to get myself a really, really good roll. I pretty much grinded like the full first day to get like a guard roll on this. What we're going to be rocking is either Arrowhead or Corkscrew. I find that the recoil direction felt a little bit weird, so I'm actually running Arrowhead for like the first time ever on a 120. We have accurate rounds to push out the range, keep away giving us accuracy and range when people aren't close. Also reload, but doesn't matter as much. And then we have precision instrument. Everyone knows precision instrument due to Igneous Hammer. Uh, dealing sustained damage significantly increases precision damage. Really, really, really solid perk. We're also going to be checking out the new ballistics mod. Those of you that don't know, they added a bunch of new mods that are just kind of like stat increases. So it's plus six, plus six, meaning we pretty much are getting small ball for free just through the mod slot. The only downside to using this ballistics mod on a 120 in particular is they do only have eight in a mag. So it's either between this or backup mag, putting us up to 11 is really, really nice too. We're gonna be playing both Hunter and Warlock for today's video. Uh, and I wanted to do the intro on Hunter because I wanna flex this build. I was D2 armor picker in cooking up and I managed to get a zero wasted stat build. Please drop a like and a comment to show some appreciation for how clean this build is looking. Here are the mods for today's video. We're obviously gonna be going full stasis as we're using a stasis 120. And without further ado, Let's get into the gameplay. Big Wombo here. Gotta live for a sec, but we have so many of them weak. Nice. Nice. Zero effort to get these kills. Oh, I should've got that one though. Nice. All right, let's back up. Building a decent streak already. That's the goal in Supremacy. A reload. Do I not have a stasis loader on? My reload felt really slow there. Maybe that's just not having Ophidians after using them. That guy thunderclapped. Oh, that range with keep away and precision just slightly pushing our damage up. Every bullet. Super nice. Oh, yeah, this is definitely feeling nicer on Hunter to me. There we go, we're a ghost. Double check, we do. Oh no, we have Kinetic Lotus Stasis Dex. That will be why this is feeling so bad, dude. On the reload. Yeah, that's a lot better. All right, nice. Our guy to our left, so we're gonna back up, not full HP. And we'll peek it. I'm also hating the new Mercy because like now we're so early into the game and I feel like I already have to worry about Mercy in this team. I get like that could be kind of good in some ways for the average player getting more fair games. I tell you what, as a YouTuber that tries to get nice gameplays, as soon as I start having a good game, it's Mercy rule, Mercy rule. Nice. Nice, sweet. Are we dead? Yeah. Wait, I got so far behind the wall. I figured if I died there, it was the pulse grenade. All right, let's go mid. We haven't actually been inside at all yet this game. It's probably good because we're using a long range 120 outside the move. But there's one kill. Should be a second. I don't know if there's a clone here or a player. It's definitely a player. Throw a grenade. In a tough spot, yeah. Went through my smoke. Thank goodness for that. Sorry, teammate. I was popping my transcendence. I couldn't shoot. That guy's connection is not okay, dude. Sweet. I'm getting worried about the mercy now, especially. Two. No. One back here. Probably pop a super. The ten streak. I've seen enough. And there it is, dude. We can't play a full game. We ended up dropping a nice twenty-seven, but I feel like we were good for probably forty in that game if we hadn't mercyed. 
Okay, fortunately, we find ourselves back on Javelin 4, the small map thing for 120, especially one that seems to have higher zoom. I don't know if that's actually true or not. I know there is now a new mod that increases zoom. That may be worth checking out. But I just, I don't know. I think I'm getting far more benefit from uh, two extra or three extra bullets with, um, with backup mag. But there we go. Three early kills. Oh, was in this guy here. He went here. Then diamond. Can we get a peek? Doesn't look like it. All right. I'm trying to sort of hold mid map. That guy twice in the body. There we go. We're playing kind of safe right now, just trying to get a streak together. And then as soon as we have a good streak, we'll start picking up crests and then we'll get crazy super energy and we'll be able to drop a pretty nice high kill game. Almost died there, but we got it. I don't know, peak, that bow would have killed us. Oh, he damn, he peaked while he was two tapped. That's crazy. Nice. That was a guy close. We got reload off. Get the finish. I think they did they increase body shot damage and reduce crit damage in this update. Damn. Thought we could maybe get that shotgun kill and dash in, but. Dead here. All on the life, and we have a good nade. Gonna jump and peek over. There we go. Go pop. You can try to shotgun me out of this. Alright, nice. Alright, we're gonna go this way. What? Dude, no way he survives that. Binder, which is a huge kill because I, I I would argue maybe the new Hunter Arc one. I think probably Shade Binder is the best super in the game, at least for 6v6. It's so hard to beat and it like annihilates every other super. I think as and don't get me wrong, Shade Binder is just a fantastic class in general, but the super in particular, I would argue is the strongest. And his neutral game is some of the strongest too. angle on that guy not expecting us all right because we need to come back we're actually playing crests no way i don't get another hit i'm dead now actually i think we tap one Nice. That's a big team fight to win. Uh, it's one behind me right now, actually. Super unfortunate spawn, dude. That guy's having a tough time. Oh, I don't know why it one hit, but I'm so glad it did. On the outside, we fire a sword here in case he was running back, but he wasn't. All right, we have radiant for a couple seconds. I'm dead here. Ooh, just about survived. Two piece with the float. Oh no, I was not ready at all for that. There's a three tap. Alright, we don't have lead anymore. Okay, focus up. There's a kill. If the teammate gets that crest, the sidearm guy. This arc super is very scary. Let's. Wait, I was about to say, let's go, we won. Wait, where'd they get all those points from at the end? Damn, we end up losing that game. 
We dropped 44. Definitely not a bad game. Javelin, always a good map to gain quickly. Thank you.